This juice is nice. How much is it? According to Zambian culture. According to Zambian culture, it's uh, mm, almost, yeah, 40 kwacha. Almost 40 kwacha, this one. Almost 40 kwacha, but it, it's worth it. It's nothing like it. Yeah? Ah, this one is just ah, one mm. Mm. It's nice. It's nice. But I know it's hard for many of you in Zambia to um, afford this. And this is not to uh, berate uh, or ridicule the people back home. Things are bad at home. And in end day, Papa, I don't understand that they can't just see things for what they are. Me, I can't, I can't imagine. I can't imagine that they can't see things for what they are back in Zambia. How Mwandi? You can't, you can't just believe it. Hello, Formula Kana, but when I'm away, how Mwandi, Mwa, the Senami Mwa. Mwadishinda ulwa. Iyo kwe na katwishi. Katwishi cha ni minanga chiwa nshi. Awe. Pari chimu hapa. Pari chimu takwa wafi. There is no way. I mean with what is going on in the country. You would have people that want to pretend that things are okay. Hmm? And instead of getting at least things better. You are just making. Ama police is mkwete. They are just making things worse. Our policies, yawa aka in the HLM, no uteko wawo. They are just making things worse. They are not doing anything that can uh, at least, you know, ameliorate with the, uh, the the suffering of the people. They are, they are not. Eh? Le lowa dan kadiadia. Le lowa dan kadiadia. Mo achita increase monetary policy. Eh? You are increasing monetary policy at your to keep inflation. What do you care? You care for 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 good statistics or for the Zambian people? Eh? What do you really care? You just want to be boasting of no, hey, our, 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 our inflation is whatever. Because really, what is better? People people would rather have money. Inflation is pamuru, but now akwa tempia they can afford. Not tawaku tempia. Hmm? People would rather have you would rather have high inflation, meaning a lot of people now akwa tempia. If into filia pamuru, you are better off. People are better off, you know, chasing uh, after things than them not having money. If people don't have money, you condemn them to death. You make them like children. You make them become beggars if people don't have money. I know some people may not understand what this monetary policy rate is all about. But this monetary policy rate is nothing, is nothing but a way that government collects money from the economy eh, to make sure that Tamuli Ndalama Sana monetary policy and the Bank of Zambia policies, they come in to control how much money is in the circulation. How much money is in the circulation. Eh? That is what they do. How much money is in the circulation. If I can draw an analogy, is whereby ula pelavana, chirabushuku la pelavana mpia, isha kuya kusukulu. Ula pela you know, like pocket money. Pocket money. Now, I pocket money for the fine. Watch your chero. Now, I pocket money. Ngavaya babo mfia, babo mfia. Isho wa shala po. Isho wa isha shala po. Babo isha. Eh? Mwamfwa. Ndefwa mpere example. Panganda. Aba nabala wa kuskulu. So, mwakwata policy ya kwe wati. Pano panganda chira wushiku. I'll be giving you. Ama. 1,000 kwacha, 1,000 kwacha. Mwaya mwaya angala. Yo 1,000 kwacha, nga wabu mfia po washto washto for the fire, 
Chenji wa itasha ni wawesha. Chenji wa itasha ni wawesha. So, chila kushikule wa pera wanpin. Chila kushikule wa pera wanpin. Nga waya babu mfya, babu mfya, babu wesha. Nomba, nga waya wati, monetary policy. Chimono kwa watu waya wati. Aa, vane, ni pera wanpin. Nomba na wesha ako. Na wesha ako. Nga na kupera eh, wanpin. Ufira wa making a show kwa wati. Wa wesha wabwesha eh, eh, about 13% wabwesha o 10% ufila wabwesha kwe shingi change ule wabwesha ingi not issue no no haa so nga wakunso kono tuku shite fintu fingi ni yungu pera one pin yes o na wakata one pin yove yes ni one pin yove but nga wakulia not tuku shite fintu fingi ndefo ule wabwesha change ingi at the end of the day ndefo ya ule wabwesha change ingi Pa first ulewa pera one pin ana ngwa wesha 900 it's okay. Nomba ndi ranga ba tawe ndefo le wesha 800. Eh? Ndefo le wesha 800. Ndefo a change ile kula ko not ku step in to think. In other words wa wapoka buying power. Wa wapoka buying power. Be kwa tenda la meshing ma pocket yawo. Isha ku step step into. And that is how they control the economy, they control the inflation. Because nga wale shita shite fintu wa wantu. Wale shita shite fintu nga vashita uyashita. Na kwa tempia uyashita uyashita. Na kwa tempia. Didi nga wale shite fintu. Ifintu kula wati demand ya apisha ni ya apamuru. Elo demand nga ya apamuru ni shine fintu fiambo kukwela. And that is the, 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 the inflation. Whereby fintu fiambo kula kukwela. Fire kukwela, fire kukwela. Because demand ilisha ni ilipamuru. Because abantu na wakwa tempia. So the way the government controls is to reduce the money that people have. Inda la mesho wale kwata ukushichefi yako. So that tabale shita shite fintu. Dianga tabale shita shite fintu. Demand ila wale la panshi. Demand inga ya wale la panshi if intu tetifile tetivale lunda. And thereby they are controlling inflation. Now the problem with these policies, with these policies of sucking the money sucking the money out of uh, out of the economy is that people don't have money yes if in top of it but very few because they work with them here eh the situation is in him bona boy di si si mo si mo si mo we is watching from from drc drc for example inflation is very high but people have money people have money People are able to afford things. Kuma kongoleo, uvunga turanda, jaya, mwanisho kukongo, uvunga nishinga, eh, shuga nishinga. Kukongoleo, avantu wala kwa tui, wala kwa tempia. So they are able to afford. So you are better off allowing people to have money than, you know, to squeeze them such that they don't have money. Basically, Bank of Zambia, what Dan Kariyaria is saying, he wants to make sure that, you know, these banks are not giving out money anyhow because they have increased the, the lending rate and they have increased the the, the depositories in the uh, uh, of, of banks such that ama banks they are under pressure to keep more money within uh, in their accounts and thereby they can't give to people and if they can't give to people people cannot spend I know it's a little bit uh, complicated and difficult to explain, but the cheapest, the easiest way is that they are just basically sucking out money out of the economy. Maybe that's why you don't even want to pay the Meridian Bank uh, workers because because our Meridian Gamawa they will go and spend, they will go and share and whatever, whatever. So you are holding on to money. You are holding on to money. But what you are doing is killing people, especially the poor people. It's bad. It's not good governance. No. It's not good governance. What good governance is this? What good governance is this where you are grab, grabbing money, grabbing money, making people uh, destitute? Making people destitute because they don't have money. If you don't have money, I mean, who are you? Eh? Who are you? You cannot be increasing mon monetary policies when the commodity prices 
are so high already due to supply because the supply the supply chain is is distorted is distorted if you have we don't have enough food and that is why not kwatama lines that is why fintuna fear pamulu so the supply is messed up money supply is messed up vale sharira pesa abantu vale sharira pesa abantu even electricity tariffs which something that you are supposed to be controlling it has been increased fuel increased so what for what good are you as a government what good are you what kind of HRM? what good are you what good are you finish to ala so to ala so palifi eh if people wa fimo fila yo ati yo na tukwata pisi pisi muli muli pisi muzambia muli pisi muzambia pisi ya waka pokola pisi yaku 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 chita gaga wantu not to talk ati muli pisi zambia is not at peace zambia is not at peace if zambia was at peace we wouldn't be here mwe fipuba mwe we wouldn't be here we are here because of you because of your foolishness because of the way you are messing up the economy that's why we are here that's why we are here it is not that we are scared we are not scared we are not scared we just don't want to be gagged we just don't want to be thrown in muma like like stupid people no if i can afford to 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 to, to fly out of the country better off why? Eh? If you put a phrase, I'm going to land Zimbabwe. Hey, you should come back. Hey, you should do what? What? Turn down? Foolish. Foolish. What am I going to turn down for? Come back. Come back for what? Come back so that I can get you like can put me. In, can put me mujere at come back. Come back for what? Come back for what? I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. And the money comes through. What kind of people are there? Kuna are there? Kuma kuma inbox. No, kuna tumi na mafoni. Hey, you should come back. You should come back. Muri fipuwa. I'm not as a fool as you, idiots. Allah. And you think we like it that we are here? We are not happy that we are here. We are not happy. There is no peace, and a lot of people would have run away. A lot of people would run away. They are just scared, and some of them cannot even afford. Even Bowman would have less on some but Bowman, Bowman, Namum Pompol. If Bowman can afford, Bowman cannot even afford an air ticket. Because some of you think that it's easy to come out. It's not easy. Air tickets cost a lot of money. Being living in 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 in, in hotels, it's expensive. It's expensive. That's over and be tinafi. Eh? Hey, no, you should we can Amos. Look at what is happening to Amos. Look at what is happening to Amos. And we know that you have got plans to, to jail a lot more. You have got plans to jail a lot more. A lot of people, if they could afford it like me, they would have run away. Eh? There is no peace in Zambia. There is no peace. What peace? Look at Malawi. Eh? Malawi, Chagwera at least is having a tough time, but is allowing is allowing the the opposition to to hold rallies no mbai mumule tina mule tina mule tina ba charaka teka ba chita apply for a, for a, for a permit mule cannot waste you waste your registration whatever whatever what nonsense do you think what charaka teka has been operating uh, uh, the political party legally eh? so 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 basic so lame you can you people eh? so lame but if you don't know there is peace, there is peace. There is no peace in Zambia. There is no peace. You are just, you know, suffocating people. You are just suffocating people. You are frustrating people. You are scaring people. They can't talk. Otherwise, tamudi umutende muzambia. Tamudi umutende. Tamudi umutende. Tamudi umutende. If you have done it, if you have done it, you have done it. I told you that I will keep on talking about you. I will keep on talking about you as a bad bank governor, Dr. Dan Kariaria, bank governor for Zambia, a man that is busy increasing monetary policy and not paying people so that at least the outlook, the foreigners can look at Zambia to say, no, Zambia is doing well. Hey, Zambia's inflation is whatever, whatever. But otherwise, it's very bad. 
It's very bad. Eh? Imwe, you are making money. Imwe mule iva mule ya Ero mule iva. Mule iva chine chine. You are stealing money. You are stealing money. You are making money. Eh? Even ku bank of Zambia. Nishinga mule fola iboba dan kadiare. Nawa nena ma directors ven. Nishinga mule fola. Nishinga mule fola. At yo. He's talking too much. We are not stealing. You are not stealing. Why are you not paying your workers a man and can housing allowance? Ngate wupup. Iwa mule for the wino mule for the mall houses. Avant bambi mule cano papela ma housing allowance. Eh? You are taking advantage of the resources of our country. You are bad people. You are bad people. No kumule mkula la mule ton mule tanga mwala la mwai mwabuka mwashibuka ti yo kwena. We are bad people. We are we are troubling people. But then Kadiaria, he now keep talking about you. And I'm telling you, one day, if in there and there, not everyone dismisses what Chidu Fatayari says. What we say on social media go a long way. What we say on social media, it goes a long way. A lot of people watch us. A lot of people watch us. Ngan Chidu Fatayari, we love to under it. I'm telling you, me, I, I am known. I've come to really believe. I will, I've been going, there is no country. I've been to six countries, plus this one, seven countries. Plus this one where I am now, seven countries. This is the first time I'm in this country. Seven countries. And I've never gone to a country where nobody recognizes me. Even here, kunonji shire, kunundefika, kunowasanga, ah! I think I've seen you on social media. Now only say that, hey, na imamu na tambako. No, I think I've seen you. You, you are, but once I reach what, ni public lawyer. Concept yo konja, wane landa, public lawyer. Hmm. Ah, you, on social media, ah, you talk. Eh? One country, wali kana no kunjingisha, nawe. Because nga wa ingira, ukarana ndama politics, condition yako wati, ngolefa wikale kuno, ule kukula ndama politics, I said, nisha ikale mo, me, I am a political party president. I am a political party president. There is no way I'm going to sit in a country, nde kukula nda. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That condition I can't fulfill. Efo banka nine, banka na nuku mpela visa, mm, kabie, we cannot allow you in this country. And I said, it's okay. Nala kukumbi, oko vengansu mina. So on the four months, we in Okulanda, Einstein is jingle. Tapani fimbi, na Okulanda fie. And what I will be talking about? It's these bad things that you are doing. I want to be talking about. I want. I want the world to know that the leadership that we have in our country is very bad. Starting with Baka in the Ichirema, now a bank governor wa wa dan kadiaria, and the evidence is there in Shirevepa Meridian Bank, which country? Which country? Meridian Bank, 29 years, people have not been paid. Shouldn't I talk about that? If I talk about that, is that a crime? Eh? Because I know a lot of you people are watching. You are watching, even in this country, you are watching, trying to see what I'm talking about. But this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, on, uh, about the, the plight of the people. In Zambia, things are so bad. In Zambia, at the moment, it is not easy to live in Zambia. Commodity prices have skyrocketed. Fuel prices has increased. Electricity tariffs has increased. Money, there is no money. Because Zambians are not being favored to do business. On top of that, they bring in the monetary policy. But themselves are enriching themselves. Those in leadership, they are enriching themselves. Dan Kadiaria, if you check the salary he, he gets, it is in hundreds. And yet, the people that he works with, the people that he works with, they are getting mega salaries, mega salaries, and they are being denied housing allowance. Housing allowance. Haka Inde Ichirema is making money, is minting. Don't be fooled that no, Haka Inde Ichirema doesn't get paid. No. This man is making money. They are grabbing money. That's why they have even grabbed the money from Miringo. And you, press singer, you were busy. 
Hey, they are recovering. Hey, they are recovering st state assets. What, 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 what? What state assets? They are just stealing. They are just stealing. That money that they have grabbed from Miringo, you people you are celebrating, that money is going in the pockets of Haka Inde and his friends. That money, 24 million dollars you are talking about, you are excited, you are happy. They have grabbed the money from 24 million. Kwati ukaliyako. Tamuakaliyako, tamuakashiriyako, tamuakaliyako, na gunten kwacha. But shirenda na mashiria kuri, 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 kuri ba haka inde ichile manabantu babo. Bala shakana. Bala shakana. And I told you, there was no criminality there. There was no criminality. Eh? Miringo Lungu just got scared to, to run away like me. But anyway, guy, Linda Ramabadi Shikit. Eh? Linda Ramabadi Shikit. Eh? Linda Ramabadi Shikit. So he couldn't run. And I mean, who steals money? You get money and you go and put it in the bank. And then government comes and freezes those accounts. He didn't steal the money. But they saw it and they wanted to grab it. They saw the money and they wanted to grab it. And that's how they came up with, you know, fake charges. Fake charges to grab the money. The question is, how did Miringolungu get the 20, 24 million? It is very straightforward. Even you praise singers, you should be able to understand. Miringolungu was given KCM to liquidate. Miringolungu was given KCM to liquidate. That was his job. Because KCM had run down. Vedanta had run down KCM. They had run down KCM. They were insolvent. They were not going anywhere. Creditors were all over. And they were closing down. Ilio Edgar Lungwa Mwenati, Uyumu Godi KCM is going down because of Inko Ngole. Because Vedanta was always declaring losses and yet they were making money. Edgar Lungu looked at it, he said, I want to make a wall. They are taking advantage of our, our resources. That is how he brought in Miringolungu. The job of Miringolungu was to make sure that he looks for other people who are serious, who can come and invest in money, invest in money and run KCM. That was the job of Miringolungu. He was supposed to look for people to come and buy KCM and run it so that people don't lose jobs, so that creditors don't lose their money. That was the decision of Edgar Lungu. And the when we were talking about Edgar Lungu to say, no, Edgar Lungu is better off. It is such decisions. Edgar Lungu was making, you know, uh, uh, timely decisions that were in favor of the Zambian people. Edgar Lungu was making those decisions. We love what, you know, Edgar Lungu is the one that messed up the country, whatever, whatever. Edgar Lungu didn't mess up the country. Edgar Lungu was... Building the country. He was building the country. Not in this nonsense that we have. The one who is messing up the country is Zaka in the but not Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu was taking the country forward. Mwila ve puat. No, Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu eh, destroyed things. No. No. Eh? Edgar Lungu, if you look at everything, it was positive. Other than what we have. Now we have negative. Kuri edi ganumi finti fia di positive. No mba fili mba negative. Even inko ngole shinesho valanda po. Hey, wali vile inko ngole, inko ngole, inko ngole. They borrowed the money and invested the money. Those roads show haka inde ichile maenda po. They were built by, by Ed Galungu. Through the same inko ngole that he's talking about. But him, he has borrowed more money within these three years. He has borrowed more money than what PF did. And they can't show anything for it. So anyway, the point is that Ed Galungu made that decision to retain the mind so that number one, people don't lose jobs. Number two, creditors don't lose their money. Number three, the mines. 
can be viable and contribute to the economy. That is why Miringolungu went there. That was the decision that Edgar Lungu made. Nothing else. And when Miringolungu was going there, there was an agreement. What agreement? There was an agreement. As you are going to KCM, if you make money, you will be entitled to 10%. If you, whether you sell, whether whatever, whatever money that you make in KCM, to save it, you will be entitled to 10%. And these were agreements that were written. 10% he was, he, was, he, was, he, he was entitled to. And when Miringolungu went at KCM, the first thing that he did was to make the mine, you know, uh, look attractive. To make them, to stabilize the mine. That's what he did. And which was very good. He said, look, I need to sell this. But for me to sell it, I need to stabilize it. Because if I sell it as it is, it will not attract good money. So what he did first is to try and work on stabilizing the mine. And he started, you know, uh, he borrowed money and pumped into KCM. And that's how the smelter started working, for example. The smelter started working, the mine started, started running. And out of that, they made money. They made money. According to Miringo and his audit, Miringo made one point, is it 1.2? Yeah, 1.2 billion. Out of the activities, because the smelter was working, a, a copper from Congo was coming to the smelter, they will smelt it and they will, they will pay. A, at the mine also, the mine was, was working, they were, they were extracting copper, and out of all those activities, Miringo made in total of $1.2 billion. $1.2 billion. He paid creditors. People were paid at KCM. People were paid at KCM. He paid creditors. He paid workers. And if you say Miringo, according to the contract, Miringo was supposed to get 10%, 10% of what was, make, what was coming out of KCM. So if he made 1.2 billion, what is he, his entitlement? 120 million. Gushekuiva, tekuiva, tekuiva. Gushekuivo, eh? Gushekuiva, he went in, he made 1.2 billion. And the contract is very simple. 10%. What is 10% of 1.2 billion? 120 million. And he didn't pay himself na okushishita. He started paying ama workers, paying ama creditors. He didn't pay himself. Iliyoba, iliyoba ishire muna tiba ntwa nikane, ababa ba UPND ba reisa. He paid himself because he's entitled to pay himself. Out of the 120 million, he only paid himself your 24 million. He didn't pay himself 50 million. He didn't pay himself 100 million. No. He only paid himself 24 million. But in Congolia, he won 20 million. A person to Lelanda, after a quarter more, I repeat 24 million. I did 96 million. And I know people who start jumping around to say, but that is too much money for one Zambian. Sell this house. You find that a house, eh? Like my house, for example, if I said if I tell someone to say, sell my house, sell my house in Roma. My house is on, on, on uh, 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 the value of, of my house would go up to 36 million, for example. 36 million agent to rest shaf. And I have a 10% ngai shaf. According to 
the 10 percent yo to earth uh, 3.6 million 3.6 million and wako ita ma tropiko nga eko sanga veka stoma asango mu chinese ashi shenganda 36 million kuri yamo 3.6 million instantly he makes money and that is how i mean some people make money so there is no criminality that is the 24 million but in your way, how can they share my wife? They is a very sad relation. Na kwata twenty four million. Ero na tumkwa tiren kongole hundred and twenty million. Ah no. The Japan genda la mashonze shafura san. The only one who can make money such money is H H. Toto la tishan. Ah ah. Efo ba mu itire miringo lungu. Iwe. Fuma ko kesi yem trefo atubike ko muntu es. Eh. But nenda rama tatrefuaya ukala ndepo. Miringorungu evela awe. Nenda rama shinarishu wombela. Kwa di agreement. Eh? Ah, so waka inge nchirema. Ah, tola tashani. Eh, kumufia ntafia mirandu. Eh, shiri ya mirandu mwamu ene. Kumufia ntafia mirandu. Ba mufia ntafia mirandu. Kirikiti, 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 kirikiti. Opo wata mpide. Mpaka miringorungu atashani. Anaka. Anaka. Amo na tako itamaka. Kuzala fi, awe wakateka, she send any fi ndala meshi. She send any fi, it's okay, temula ndu na fi leka. Na ya. Na ya. Nje kunga ndanje ndale kofi oturo, it's okay. She send any ndala meshi. Efo chadi. Nombe shu ndala meshi, nomba. Na wa, wa shipoka, miringolungu, ali shizala, ali zala. Shari mua account ya kwe. Nomba shafu, shirefu ma mua account ya kwe. Shire ya kui sa. Ndefu wa mungi we. Where is the money that Miringolungu eh, relinquished? Where is it going? Where is it going? That money is going back to KCM. Because whatever it is, it is going to KCM. But you see, this is how funny it is. Eh? Because the state came in eh, to fianta Miringolungu. The state. But who was the complainant? What were the charges? Eh? Who was the complainant? Because if we look at it, Miringo Lungu got the money. He didn't get the money from, 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 from government. He got the money from, from KCM. He got the money from KCM. And KCM is a company, by the way. It's a company. So if he got money from, 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 from the company, how did the state come in? No kumfianta, fianta, kumfianta, fianta. How did the state come in? Okay, mi ringolungu aleka konombe ndarama. Ndarama shire ya kuisa. Ndarama shafu mine kukesi emu. So shara ya kuisa. Awa alemu, awa alemu titikisha. Niwa, niwa government. So ndarama shara ya kuisa. Awa alemu fianta fianta. Niwa government. Na wa Gilbert Piri. Eh? Eh? Vali jibikile kona nanika nena. Na Mary Banana Paria. Eh? Vali no. Kumu fianta fianta. Kumu fianta fianta. So okay, nomba mi ringolungu aleka kuhu. The question is, where is the money going? Is the money going to the state or is the money going to KCM? Awa manu, mweba kwata manu, mweba tonton kanya. You people who think you are able to see already the criminality. You are already, you are, you are already able to see the injustice. Because you are getting excited. No, they are, they, are, they are recovering resources, they are recovering uh, uh, assets, they are recovering state assets. Is this money that Miringolungu got from KCM, is it going to the government or does it belong to the government or it belongs to KCM? And why was the government harassing uh, Miringolungu? Why? Why? Who was the complainant? Okay, now Miringolungu has let go of the money. Where is the money going? Where is the money going? The guess is as good as mine. The money is going to KCM. The money is going to KCM. Now, let me show you now the criminality. The criminality. Because when I talk about these things, I back them up with facts. I follow the logic and explain why I made you know, a, a, a certain conclusion. I made a conclusion that the money that Miringolungu got is going back mumatumba ya waka inde ichi manava nawo. So, to Afrika Pakovati, that money will go back to KCM. 
Now, who is at KCM today? Who is at KCM? KCM has been given back to Vedanta. KCM has been given back to Vedanta. That money is going back to Vedanta. A private company as it were. And who gave Vedanta the, the mine? It's Haka in the What did Haka in the and all of you Zambians, what did you say about Vedanta? We heard Ulya Agrua, whatever. We heard him, how he was boasting, how he had gotten money out of us. We all know that Vedanta is a criminal gang. It's not a, a, a company that we, can, we should be talking about. We know that they are criminals. That's why Edgar Lungu kicked them out. And even, even, even uh, Haka Inde Ichirema accepted that these are criminals. We have videos where Haka Inde Ichirema is saying, no, 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 we can't give Vedanta. These are criminals. We have videos Haka Inde Ichirema saying that. But how come Haka Inde Ichirema, he has given back the criminals that he said he can never give the mind? Why did he give them? Why did he, Haka Inde Ichirema, give back the mines to Vedanta? Why? Criminals. Why did he do that? Why? I'm sure. Haba kwa tamano mule iruka mule mona efyo bale mivila. Mule mona how they are ripping off our country. They gave this criminal with conditions kunu moku. And the conditions were such that, number one, to ala kupela maini, to ala kuwesesha, but ufuro tupele muama shares. Ufuro tupele muama shares. You have already heard Vedanta saying that they are looking for an equity partner. They are going to sell some of the shares. Those shares they are not selling. They are giving to Haka Inde Ichirem and his friends. Number two, the money that Miringolungu got, Shirenda Lamang, Tuka kupela, but inga tuwa kupela, tuka kana. Efili puapa. Efili puapa. That's why they gave, that's why Haka Inde Ichirema gave Vedanta. They gave Vedanta so that he, vasende muama shares, nenda lama wakane. So she didn't allow me to share with my Ngolungu. She never put it. She never covered that thing. She never covered that thing. Okay, see him, Kudia. Waka in the Ichirema, waka kana. That is the motive. That is why, because what motive would be there to give back a mind to a criminal, a person that you have seen that this one is a criminal, you give him back the mind. What what logic is there? What motive is there? The motive is simply because this criminal is the easiest to manipulate. If they had sold that mine to a credible investor, that credible investor would not give them, give them mama shares. They wouldn't. Like the way Miringolung wanted to do, to get to buy, to look for shares, to buy the mines. There is no way they would just let go about, of their shares. But because Vedanta is a criminal, they are sharing. And the mom will be busy about pressing up on social media, defending if you have local on the rock. Depending if you have local on the rock. Apa so, why do she come to the refuge? Mule do I come to the refuge? Kuli ba kolobo i mule asha because tamu kwe tamalait. Tamu kwe tefia kudia. But you know, busy defending. Haka in the H&M. Haka in the H&M is making money. He's making money. Just like Vadan Kariadia. That's why they don't care to pay the Meridian BIO. They don't care. Because them, they are making money. They are getting paid a lot of money. These are bad people of our country. Dan Kariadia, you are bad. 29 years, you can't pay people. You are bad people. Your workers, you are not paying them well. And yet you, you are getting hefty allowances. These people are making money. But then Mirila... Ama sukupa mutwe. Shire ndala mawapoka kuli miringolungu. Shire ya ku KCM. Ku KCM wa KCM ni waka walala. They have an agreement. They will just share that money. Ime mule chula. Ime mule chula. So nefu mwane cha celebrate. Hey, miringolungu na ya poke mpia na poke mpia. Eh? Useless. This is state recovery. Tapani nefu mwane cha state recovery. They are just grabbing things for themselves. 
And they never even say much. No shall him work Some of you have been supporting. Some of you, you got a map plots during the time of PF. Some of you, you got a map plots during the time of PF. Genuinely. Genuinely. But now, I'm former statements for the land. At no, we are doing a land audit. Some of you, they will grab your property. Some of you, they will come and destroy your houses. These thieves. And when they grab you the, the, those properties, they grab you, 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 your plots, they will give each other. Nobody nefe some of you who are even supporting. No shadi mwakawamu muke samukurida pan. Tell nobody nefe apakuna nkano kuku ratsa. Ratsa they have fired those 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 bosses. Kachinga ma directors ngama managers. They have fired them. Then given some of you, you lose jobs. You lose jobs, you lose things good yawakabwala. Imo mwana bati, ah, tayari ya lipena, eh, tayari shan shan, eh, whatever, whatever. You will see. No shari mwa kabamu. Hmm? And I take great exception to what he, this um, British ambassador. Eh? British ambassador. British ambassador. Wuli, 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 wuli something, something. Whatever is that name is. With due respect. With due respect. Your excellence. With due respect. I know you are entitled to your own opinion. I know you are entitled to your own opinion. I am not one of those people who should say, no, 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 no. These uh, foreigners, they should not say anything. No, 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 I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those. Because we like it when you praise us. Eh? When he holy speaks in our favor, when these diplom diplomats speak in our favor, we like it. We cheer. Yeah, 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 yeah. A British ambassador said, American ambassador said, we like it. So why should we start jumping around and say, no, don't talk about our, our internal affairs when they don't speak in our favor. No, that is hypocrisy. You know, I don't operate like that. If we like it when they speak for us, we should also like it when they speak against us. So I don't subscribe to that to those uh, uh, sentiments of saying, no, a diplomat should not comment on our internal affairs. If you want, if you don't want them to comment in on the internal affairs, don't prompt them to talk on your behalf when you need them. But we want them to speak for us when it is convenient. When we need them to speak for us, we want them to speak. Even me, as I'm out here, I want Woody to, to speak in my favor to say, no, 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 no. what you're doing to Tayari is bad. If he does that, then I'm happy. But if he speaks in my against me, then I get upset. So I think the best that we should do is to just respect other people's opinion. Let us respect other people's opinion. Let them express themselves. Let us not gag people. Uh -uh. Let them speak. So for me, Ine Vahuri, I don't have an issue with you when you talk, when you make comment on our, our, on our governance. I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue. They, but at least when you are making statements, especially that you know you are coming from the, the, the United Kingdom, your voice is very big. Your voice is very big. So when you are making statements, be very sure that you are making a, a statement that is can be backed by solid facts. Please, please. Don't just make statements see, from a personal point of view. Yes, by the fact that you are an ambassador doesn't mean that, I mean, you can just speak anyhow. Be very careful with what you say. You are representing a very big embassy in Zambia. America and Britain, you are representing a very big voice in Zambia. So be very careful when you make these statements. I am not saying don't make statements, no. But be very careful when you make these statements. When you say, we are happy with the asset recovery. We are happy with the asset recovery. Your Excellency, Vahuli, I want to ask you, have you checked how these asset recovery is being done? Have you checked how these uh, uh, state uh, assets recovery is being done? Have you checked? 
Is, it, is there justice in what is going on? That is all I'm, 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 I'm urging you. That is all I'm asking you. That when you are getting excited to say we are happy with the asset recovery, my issue is, are you, have you followed to see how the process is being done? Because these recovery of assets, from my point of view, is shrouded in, in, in injustice. Where, you know, a DPP just goes to court and swears an affidavit to say we want to grab this house because we believe it is a proceed of crime. And they do little or nothing to substantiate their argument. And then the courts, because they are favoring the state operatives or the state, they grant that, uh, that, that, uh, uh, that order. Is that, is that not an injustice? Where properties are just being grabbed from citizens, be it they were former leaders, but they are just grabbing properties. Is that justice, Vahuli? Is that justice? I am, I am not attacking you. I just, I'm just appealing to you to consider this fact that when you are getting excited that it is good that the state is grabbing property from these people, you should also consider that is there justice in what they are doing? You, you are a civil servant. And out of, you know, your work, you buy property. And then all of a sudden somebody just says, no, we grab it because your government has changed. They just grab it without substantiating. Is that the kind of activity that you should support? That should cheer you? I'm appealing to you to say, consider the law side before you get excited on this side that yes they have recovered uh, state assets look at also the process which is being employed at the moment that process if you look at it is is not good it is unfair and some of these things we may get excited to say no no, no. it's because it's tasila lungu it's because he edgar lungu's children these are things that will be used even against the other people these are things that will be used against other people. No shall Mwakabamu. When you get excited, bad things, when bad things are being done and you get excited, one day it will fall on you. Let us support what is right. Not just because we don't like Ed Galungu and his family and we get excited. Like in the question of, 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 of Miringolungu, you people, you are getting excited, but really, Miringolungu gave up that what he gave up the money that he shouldn't have given up and now at the end of the day that money they're just going to share it they're just going to share it there's an agreement between Vaaka Inde Ichirema and his people and the uh, Vedanta they are going to get shares and they're going to get that money from Miringolungu these people they are taking advantage of our country that's why they don't care even if you complain so much about high commodity or prices, a, a few well, they don't care because for them, they are making money. And they are doing everything possible to silence the people. And the press singers are calling it peace. No, there is no peace. They are just gagging people. They are gagging people. To an extent now, they are calling clergymen. Where, when did we have a situation where clergymen are being a called Kuma police for inviting Edgar Lung or inviting any politician? This is a norm that has existed for a long time in Zambia. Since Zambia was declared a Christian nation, this norm of inviting politicians to Kum, a, a, inviting politicians for, for church services, for church activities, has been there. Haka Inde Ichirema was being invited. Was being invited. Even me, I have attended the, some of these functions at Cathedral of the Holy Cross there. This is a norm that has been happening. Why now? Why? 
Even haka in the Ichirema used to go kuma chechezu. We never saw at least police officers surrounding a church. We didn't see that in Edgar Lungu. And even if it happened, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. And we Zambians, that's why I'm telling you that we need to stand up and defend ourselves. We are watching clergymen being summoned to police because they want to fraternize or they want to pray with a, a, a political leader. This is wrong. This is wrong. And I'm very disappointed with some of the church leaders. Some of the church leaders. And I allow me, my, my bishops, I don't like to talk against my church, but some of our bishops are very compromised. Some of our bishops are very compromised. Instead of defending your priests, you are exposing your priests. What kind of uh, shepherds, good shepherds are you? What kind of good shepherds are you? When you are allowing your priests to be victimized in your dioceses, I mean, I know we are human beings. You could be bishops, you could be priests, you could be archbishops. I know you are human beings. But at least sometimes you can restrain yourselves. You can restrain yourselves. Because you are dividing the church. You are dividing the church. At the moment, our Catholic church is divided in Zambia. Because of some compromised uh, bishops. I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to say that. Yes, you are bishops and I'm a Catholic and I should not be talking about this. But no, I must talk. I must, I must talk because if you, if you compromise yourself, I mean, you, you leave us no choice but to talk about you. You leave us no choice but to talk about you. Much as we are, we are Catholics, we are supposed to, you know, respect our, 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 our clergy. Eh? Uh, what, is, what, what, is, what is the word? We're supposed to respect it. But, I mean, if you are clearly showing, you are showing that you are, you know, siding with, with these people who are, who are, who are, who are messing our Zambian people. I mean, I mean, we, we, we have no choice but to call you out. We have no choice but to call you out. I have no choice as a public lawyer. I am a Catholic that, you know, so proud to be a Catholic and I, whatever, but I have to call you out as a public lawyer if I see that, yes, you as a bishop, you are the one that is gravitating, enjoying to fraternize with these people. Instead of admonishing them for the bad leadership, but you are the one that is absorbing them of their of the of the of their bad uh, bad actions in public which can clearly be seen by everyone you're supposed to stand up we're supposed to stand up and condemn these acts but you the very bishops you are the ones some of you not all of them some of you bishops you are the ones who are even you know putting a red carpet giving them even opportunities to come and speak to our christians going against your own policies some of you bishops, you have made policies in your dioceses that these, these, these politicians, they are just like any other Christian. So if they come to pray with us, let us not give them a podium. I saw a secular like that. I don't know from which diocese. But there was a secular which was going on telling priests, please don't, don't allow these politicians to come and stand in front and, you know, address the people because they are just, you know, a, a Christians or faithfuls that come to worship with us. Why are we giving them the, the platform? But you find that the same bishop that issued that is the same bishop that is now calling politicians to come and speak in front. And the day before, his priest was being summoned to the, to, to the police. Come on! Even if the priest is wrong, I mean, you are supposed to stand with him. Eh? You're supposed to stand with him. You're supposed to stand with the church. Deal with it internally, but don't be so clear. Don't be so clear to show that you are on the side of the government. You are on the side of this dictatorship. Deal with it. Yes, it's true. 
Sometimes a priest might not speak well and you may not be in agreement. Deal with that issue internally. But don't imbalance or encourage these politicians to do it again. Because of the actions of some of our bishops in Zambia, you have encouraged this, uh, this, this, this thing of Baka Pokola inviting, inviting our clergymen. Even other, other, you know, other denominations, the Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia and whatever, whatever, the, the other one, as leaders, you need to come out strong and condemn this. And condemn this. Politicians are not your friends. Politicians are not your friends. No shari mwakawamu. Be with the people. Be with your flock. Defend your flock. If you are, if you are a preacher and you are ignoring the sufferings of the people, then you are clearly failing to follow Jesus Christ's way. Because Jesus Christ confronted the leadership at that time. He spoke for the people. How come you, you want to be seen, to be close to these people that are really being unjust to the people? It is very sad, very sad. We can see it. We are not fools and Zambian people can see it. They may not call you out. They may not say it. Be out of respect. But even me, you know, I'm reluctant to talk about these issues. But at the, at the end of the day, I am a public lawyer. I am the voice of the voices. I need to bring out these things. So, Imuma Bishop Venangu Imwe, what you are doing is disgraceful. What you are doing is disgraceful. My Catholic bishops, yes, my Catholic bishops, not all of them, some of you Catholic bishops, what you are doing is shameful. You are encouraging Haka Inde Ichirema to be a dictator. You are encouraging Haka Inde Ichirema to treat the Zambian people badly. Now there is that, that priest who has been summoned. That priest who has been summoned. Are you going to remain quiet? There is another, another pastor who was summoned. Another pastor was summoned. Are you going to remain quiet? Because it is not you. Who is going to defend those people? That's why you are there as leaders. That's why you are there as leaders. Defend these people. No shari mwakabamu. One day, even you, you will fail to worship. Even you, you will fail to conduct mass. Because they will, they will come up with a decree that will frustrate your work. The freedom of worship that we have didn't come cheap. Don't, don't sell it out of, you know, whatever interest that you may have. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. Defend it. Defend our freedom of worship. Defend our freedoms. And defending our freedoms, it is not just the, uh, on the civil society. It is not just on the politicians. Even the church. Because the, the rights that we have comes from God. God is the one that gives us those freedoms. So even the church must defend that. Let us defend those, let us make sure that we defend, we defend, you know, our, 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 our clergymen. And of course, I would say that, yes, let the clergymen be led by the Holy Spirit as well, because they're also human beings. But even when they go wrong, it is not up to a bishop to embarrass a priest, no. No. Deal with it internally. Deal with it internally. Don't, don't, show that you know you are on the side of the of, uh, of, uh, of the politicians
Anyway, so that is about the Midingolungu and, you know, um, how they are trying to, 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 to muzzle our voices by intimidating everyone, including, you know, um, uh, the clergymen. This is what is happening in our country, which is very sad. And they are doing all these things because they know that they have, they have lost the support of the Zambian people. They have lost the support of the Zambian people. They will not survive. So what is the solution? The solution is in ECZ. The solution is in ECZ to make sure that they rig the elections. Politicians, opposition, Zambians, open your eyes. 2021 general election was not won in the manner that you think it was won. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. They rigged. And even this time around, they are busy planning to rig again. They are busy trying to, to, they are busy planning on rigging. They have tendered, you know, the printing of ballot papers. They are going to look for a company that is compromised to print ballot papers. They will print more ballot papers. They will take them in places where, you know, at the end of the day, they will just be declaring figures. Let us open our eyes, Zambians, and let us not accept anything, anything other than Haka Inde Ichinema to go. We can't have Haka Inde Ichinema to continue. This man has to go. Look how people are queuing up for Mirimi. I mean, things have gone so high, and yet salaries are still the same. Salaries are still the same. People are not getting more. Even people who are supposed to be celebrating Bank of Zambia, who are supposed to be proud at Mbomba Bank of Zambia, even them, they are struggling. They want to rig an election in 2020, 2026. We need to open our eyes and we should not accept anything other than Haka Inde Ichirema going. 